What's up everyone from the Pageant Trend Facebook Live. So here we go. This is your man Mustafa Azali, Man of the World 2017 from Egypt. And I would love to do this live with you guys so we can share some good vibes and positivity in the Pageant Trend Facebook Live. One of the best pages on Facebook. So here we go. This is your man here, Mustafa Azali. And I would love to say uh, thank you everyone who is going to watch this live video. I would love to interact with you guys from the Philippines. Kamusta kayo po sa inyong lahat? Magandang gabi po. Kasi it's evening now. So um, here we go. Someone is saying hello, good night. <laughs> hello, good morning. <laughs> We're just starting, Joan. Ano ba yan? So ano na. Uh, here we go. I would love to say again. Please stay safe during the coronavirus pandemic. It's hard times, but we can get over it. I will ask all of your questions. Uh, please ask me some questions about beauty queens, uh, beauty pageants. As you know, I'm from Egypt and I won this title since 2017. And I'm a national director for Men of the World, Egypt 2020. And I was a Miss Earth national director for 18 and 19. Uh, I am now a national director for Miss Asia Pacific Egypt and another pageant and of course uh, a, a Asian model for for uh, uh, Joan Gafud, the manager of um, Pia Wurchbeck uh, he gave me the license for Asian model so here we go I will shout out for everyone I will greet everyone so thank you and let's do this live video and let's make it the best live video on the pageant trend thank you guys and I will go ahead with the comments Thank you for the love, thank you for the likes, I appreciate that. So here we go, some, some saying is like, Christian Dave, hello, hello Alien, hello Leanne, hello Jay, Jamito, Niaz, Kif Halak, I'm, I'm fine, thank you, thank you for the effort. Salamat, uh, Raja, uh, hi, good night boy, good night. Eric, good evening, good evening, po. so cute, thank you. Nazir. Uh, what's up here? Here we go. Uh, hello. Thank you, Nassim Handsome. Thank you. Uh, so cute, Alexa. Thank you, Yummy. Wow. I'm fasting, guys, by the way. It's Ramadan, and thank you for everyone who shout out for Ramadan Kareem for me. So here we go. I'm seeing 100 people is looking at the video. Is watching now the video. I want you guys to interact with me. I will greet everyone. Hello, Aristid. So Handsome about Saudi Arabia. Red Rexed Olazer. Hello from Saudi Arabia. I hope you're staying safe. R.A. Marsa. Hi, Mustafa. Hello, R.A. Abdul. Uh, hi, Paul. How are you? Okay, na man. Uh, yes, I speak Tagalog as well, so you can ask me in different languages. Arabic, English, and Tagalog. So I'm, I'm good with you with any kind of languages. Uh, I have seen also Roxine. Roxanne, she's Miss Earth. Uh, it's Philippines right now, and she's, um, you know, I am, I am under contract with Cornerstone in the Philippines. And sayang talaga for what happened to ABS-CBN. I really, I really feel bad. So, Labang Kamamilia. I'm from Star Magic, by the way. So, yeah, I feel, I feel them. What is next for Mustafa? Well, that's one of the questions. Let's start with the. What's next for Mustafa? The next for Mustafa is I already did acting lessons in Star Magic. I already uh, showed up. I was, I showed up in three movies in the Philippines. And one of them is mystified, and I was doing the contrabida character. So now here in Egypt, I will do my acting career, and I'll pursue my acting career in Egypt. So that's next for Mustafa. And yes, I will do my modeling academy as well. Hi from Kuzan City. Hello, Paul. What's your what's in, what is your nationality, sir? I am Egyptian. I'm from Alexandria. I'm from Egypt. So I'm Egyptian, and I'm half Turkish. So I'm not full Egyptian, but I am Egyptian. Here we go. Uh, hi from hello RA Ramadan Karim thank you Zia how you Zia uh, Philippines kamusta po okay naman po ikaw kamusta Virgil your hands up be safe thank you God bless you Jay Jamito thank you Romar hi shout out in Mandalorian here in the Philippines Romar Januras shout out to Romar Januras in Mandalorian Jonas hello po hello Jonathan Ronald Reyes hello Mr. Egypt hello Ronald shout out police from La Grokusen City, please say hi to residents of Bergi Greater La. Ya ya na shuezera. Shuezria. Shuezria. Ya na shuezria. Shout out to Ya na. 
uh, from Lagro Cusancini. I'm sorry for spelling your name, but uh, I'm trying to do my best, I swear. Uh, what's your nationality? I already said what's your nationality. I'm, I'm from Egypt. I'm Egyptian. What's up, man? How are you? Oh, Idrif. Uh, one of the one of the best supporters here is Edrif Angelo. I like to shout out to Edrif. Thank you, man, for showing up in my live comments and um, live videos. I appreciate that. Yes, handsome. My hearts belong to Egyptians. Okay. Uh, uh, Nero Salas. Uh, thank you, sir. Kamustapo Ramadan Karim. Thank you so much, James. Hello, love from the Philippines. Thank you, James. So handsome, Ryan. Thank you, watching from Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, Nero. Thank you, Hamusta shout out here in Oman. Hernandez Darif. Shout out. Uh, uh, I know. Kapilak Sadiq, shout out. I'm from the Philippines, Armando Par Parado. I want you to interact with me, guys. I want you to ask me a lot of questions. I will greet all of you. I will shout out to all of you. No problem. Hi Mustafa, love you. Thank you so much, Eric. Stay safe, Bo. God bless. Thank you. What? What? Okay. R A. Uh, what are your learnings from you stay in the Philippines, Bo? So first of all, one of my learnings is, mm, I learned how to be more kind. To be honest, because the Filipino people are super kind, sobrang mabait talaga. So I learned how to be more kind, more grounded, and more humble. This is one of the things I learned in the Philippines. Uh, I, I learned how to be warm to other people and how to be more friendly to other people. That's one of the best things ever I have learned in the Philippines. And this is a fact that no other than any nationality, that only the Philippines known with this kind of uh, attitude, that they are so kind and they are so welcome to any nationality. God bless the Philippines, man. Um, <clears throat> shout out. Uh, okay, one second. Dominic Marzo, shout out from the Philippines. Dominic, thank you. Axel, I love you. I love you too. Thank you. Munit, very handsome guy. I love. Uh, thank you. Angelto Pareto, I love Egyptian boy. Thank you, Angelto. Ramadan, MJ. Joan, shout out, handsome from. Joan Erol, shout out to Joan Erol. Uh, hi from Nepal. Jajan Akash from Nepal. Shout out to Rajesh. Uh, Romer Janoris, how old are you? Well, you can tell. You guess how old I am. What's your favorite Filipino food? Okay, I would love to say chicken adobo and beef caldereta is my favorite. And of course, any kind of fish, I love it. Uh, I know, I know, I know. Good evening, shout out, sir, from Batangas, Philippines. BJ Roa Bons. PJ Roa Pons, shout out to PJ from Batangas, Philippines. Thank you. Leedsy Hill, you're so kind and friendly. Thank you, uh, Leedsy Hill. I appreciate that. Mustafa, you're very Jamila. I love this. You thank you so much. I appreciate that. Well, guys, I have a good news that I might be included in a TV series soon in Egypt. So please uh, cheer me up and uh, thank you. Wow, bravo for all that learnings. Uh, yeah, you're here in Turkey. Lindsay Vergara, stay safe in Turkey, stay safe in Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, Philippines, anywhere around the world, everything will be okay soon. Let's stay safe, let's stay healthy and keep it boosting your immune system. Uh, celebrity crush in the Philippines? Well, uh, I didn't have a celebrity crush in the Philippines, but I have some idols, uh, but no crush. Okay, let's be honest. Shout out from Kuwait. Uh, yes, who? Um, Zane Paplo Jr. Shout out to Zane Paplo. Uh, shout out uh, to Nihis Valencia Ortil. Uh, what else? Yeah, this is true. This is the Filipino attitude, Manuel. True, Tamapo. What is the most important lesson you have learned in your life and how you apply it uh, to your time as Mr. World? Very nice question. Jofiel Berdin, he's asking me, what is the most important lesson you have learned in your life and how you apply it to your time as Mr. World? Well, the most uh, learned lesson is to be humble because when you be humble and you kill people with your kindness instead of hate and revenge is the best way to learn 
and to teach other people and to let them know that kindness is the best thing ever, not revenge or not hate. And being humble will make people love you and help you without waiting for anything in return from you. And that's what I learned. Actually, this is a very nice question. And uh, what else? Uh, you don't have to discriminate other people, whatever religion, gender, you have to be equal, you have to be peaceful to each other. And that's what I learned because I used to deal with a lot of nationalities and I represented Egypt and Egypt is one million, one million people. It's a, it's a huge country with a huge history. So that's what I learned and I say I'm saying, again, again I'm saying the Philippines teaching me how to be more grounded and more humble. Watching in Saudi Arabia, extend my greeting to Egyptian people. Rabadan Karim, Nak Saeed. Wow. Maraming ng comments. I love you. Thank you so much. Watching from Japan, Dennis. Uh, when? Hello, Mustafa. Watching from Palawan. Wow, Palawan. So brang magandang jan. I love Palawan. Watch out from Baguio City. Baguio City is my favorite city in the Philippines, to be honest. If you will go and check my page and or check my Instagram, you will see most of my pictures in Baguio City. I have no idea, but I love Baguio City. Mahal na kita, mahal na kita rin. Salamat. Pa shout out po, Gino and Joe. Shout out from Cebu City, Philippines. My Chan. Nice questions. How's your life after winning Man of the wor World? Most practically after your reign. After my reign, I signed with ABS-CBN and Cornerstone Entertainment. And then I learned how to be a good actor with the help of Star Magic and Derek Ryan, of course, from Star Magic. So um, I learned how to be a good actor. I, 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 I did a lot of workshops with him. And that's what I learned is everyone has a secret talent. No one told you about the secret talent before. Like before, I didn't know that I'm gonna be an actor. I didn't know that I'm gonna be the man of the world with this crown. I didn't know. But people around you, just surround yourself with positive people because positive people and the people who really loves you, they're the one who will tell you the best things for you. The negative people are the people who fake their love for you. They will bring you down. So even if your circle is 100, make it five. If these five people are real, so surround yourself with these five people because these five people is more grateful and more more uh, useful than the 100 so that's what i want to say that's what i want to say it's like five five or six people is better than 100 and all of them they are fake they're negative so surround yourself with like five six people rather than 100 who bring you down and everyone has a hobby everyone has a talent all what you need is just surround yourself with the best people ever they are the one who will encourage you they will push you to the right path <clears throat> sashi is not high if i didn't shout out for the old comments because it's too much but i will try to do my best why should you be the next uh, mr world stella uh, escalanati stella jane love okay why i have to why should you be the next mr world well i'm already man of the world 2017 i already have a crown so now unfortunately i cannot compete anymore all what i do is i pursue my acting career and i judge beauty pageants so i w maybe i will judge mr world but people who has already a crown they cannot compete anymore and it's my pleasure to join mr world it's such a such a big passion but i have already a crown so unfortunately i can't i ha uh, i have notes that you speak to Gallup fluently that's great <laughs> i'm i'm watching here in uh, the map saudi arabia oliver thank you so much i need uh, some more good questions i can sense the depth in your personality more power to you mustafa melson fernando shout out to Melson fernando thank you so much because it's all about being deep and be true and be you and that's all uh, I'm seeing a lot of people doing the beauty pageants because this is a pageant trend Facebook uh, page. I'm seeing a lot of girls, a lot of 
people, even boys or girls, during the beauty pageants, they try to fake their smile because I judge a lot of pageants, especially in the Philippines, more than 30 pageants. They try to fake the smile, they're trying to be nice and they're not nice. They're trying to do like fake it to make it. This is not gonna help, man. When you go on the stage and you, you, you speak from your heart, people will feel you, people will sense you. So stop being someone else, just be you. Uh, not, don't try to fake it to make it, just be you. Don't act like someone else, believe me. When you are vulnerable, you speak from your heart, people will feel you, so they will cheer you up. So, but if you would just like try to fake your smile, try to fake your personality, this is not gonna work, believe me. What do you do, what do you prefer being handsome but not too smart or being smart but not too handsome? Well, the second one, being smart but not too handsome. Why? Even when you ask me about the girl, if she's smart or beautiful or being beautiful and not smart, no, I would rather go for the smart and not beautiful because if she's smart or if he's smart and not handsome, beauty fades. We all know that. We are getting older. I'm getting older, but yeah, I have this beard and my hair because of the quarantine. But yes, when I shave my beard, I look younger, I promise. But my, my, my answer is beauty fades. We're all getting old. If you will talk about love, if you talk about partnership, all what it remains is the love between people. Beauty fades. Um, the heart will always the one who will be speaking. The love in your heart, not the beauty. So I would rather to go for being smart but not too handsome. When did you move in the Philippines? When I moved, I used to work in Dubai as a model and uh, I used to work a uh, model as a part-time job and a service advisor in Porsche uh, in 2017, <clears throat> 2014, 15 and 16. 2017, I joined Man of the World and I joined Star Hunt Dubai. Before I joined Man of the World, I joined Star Hunt Dubai and I won Mr. Congeality. And this is when people preferred me to represent Egypt in Man of the World first edition. And I was the first winner. And this is my first beauty pageant ever I have ever competed. So that was like a history. And no one in Egypt here won a beauty pageant before. I'm the first one. So I'm the first Muslim who won a beauty pageant. I'm the first Egyptian in the Egyptian history to win a male pageant. And I am the first ever man of the world. Wow. Well, I'm still humble. I really appreciate everyone. I appreciate my fans who support me. I'm still grounded. I can go live, whatever. I can answer all your questions and this is all what you need to do. You have to be grounded and you have to be humble. Look like Zayn? Zayn who? Zayn Malik? Yeah, there's a lot of people who told me I look like him. Or he looks like me, I don't know. But anyways, yeah. Hi, I'm Zayn. Can you shout out my name? One second. Uh, Vince Ikrash. Vince Ikrash. Shout out to Vince Igrash. God bless you. I wish you win the pageant. I already won the pageant. I already, I already, man, I'm man of the world 2017. I have already a crown there. Can you see the crown there? This one. So I'm already a winner. Pahinging skinny nana. Well, um, okay. There's, there is a saying that men can learn from who men? Now I ask you as a man, what you learn from all? There is a saying, what men can learn from... Now, I ask you as a man, what you learn from all? Well, I learn how to be... I learn to be how to be more sociable and more uh, humble and more friendly and not to judge people. I learned how to mind my own business. Yeah, I learned to help anyone without waiting for anything in return. That's what I learned. Excellent answer, brother. You're smart, but, but not too handsome. I like also. Thanks. You're welcome, Oliver. I have a bad day today. Can you say anything to me and also to make me feel better? Thank you for in advance. Oh. So someone is here feeling bad. I would love to share him up. His name is Van Lupera. Van Lupera. 
come on it's a good day every day we have it's a blessing from God so you have to pray for the Lord you have to to, to, to stay grounded you have to be happy just smile you know just do something that makes you cheer up I'm cheering you up here Mustafa is saying to Van Lopera I'm cheering you up just another day everything is gonna be okay we're all having the bad days during the coronavirus pandemic but I promise you everything is gonna be fine okay cheer up for me what else Ah, Anubapo, shout out uh, Gino, Sulis, hi, Langa, love you, I'm not smart, I'm beautiful uh, London, Viral, well, how about your heart? You're not smart and beautiful, how about your heart? If your heart is beautiful, believe me, this is the key, it's all about the heart It's not about the personality or being, being smart, you just need to, you know, uh, read books, interact with people So you'll be smart, you will learn this is experience. You're not beautiful. Who said you're not beautiful? You know, being beauty is being my heart. If your heart is pure, you are beautiful. Believe me. It's not about what the people say. Can you shout my Can you shout out my name? Luzada J L G L Joseph. Luzada, shout out to Luzada. What make What make you blush? Stella Jo Stella Love Escalinati. What makes me blush? When people compliment me too much, I blush because I feel, I feel the, um, I feel the, uh, I'm being so th thankful. So when they compliment me, they, they say thank you too much, I blush because uh, this is how my mom and dad raised me up. I'm a polite person, so I respect others. So when they say thank you, I blush. I feel, I feel like I did something beautiful for others. Any favorite actor? Yes, Keanu Reeves. He's my favorite actor. Brad Pitt. Uh, he's also my favorite actor. Um, in the Philippines, uh, Ding Dong Dantes, of course. And uh, well, who else? Uh, yeah, Ding Dong Dantes because I had a personal talk with him, and he's a really nice person. You look like a UMA of PBB. Well, I'm not familiar with the UMA. What is your advice to people to this time of COVID-19 pandemic? Alex Tiongson. Alex Tiongson, what is my advice for you? First of all, you have to practice social distance. I'm telling you guys, this um, a curfew will lift up soon, so you have to practice social distance. You have to wear your mask. The mask is must. You have to wear the mask. You have to keep uh, posting, posting your immune system. Do not forget your vitamin C. Eat healthy. Uh, stop smoking. If you're smoking, you need your lungs. Believe me. Uh, make one hour for you to to do sports. We need ourselves. We need our health. Our immune system is the is the only weapon against is the virus. So you have to boost in your immune system. Uh, stay away from the crowded places as much as you can. And uh, always sanitize your hands. That's all what I can say. And God bless everyone. Are you now neutralized, Filipino? Hope see you soon. <laughs> I hope so. What's your opinion about EBS CBN shutdown? Valentina Fernandez. Well, of course, I'm from EBS and I'm saying I'm so sad about what happened to EBS CBN. But some saying, some saying it's political issue and some saying it's a taxes issue. Well, I have no idea which one is right and which one is wrong, but I can't judge. My opinion is. If you really love EBS, you have to support ABS CBN. I'm sure they are already online on YouTube or something. So you have to follow every account on Instagram, Twitter, YouTube. And this is how your love will be shown right now. Because now is the fans duty. ABS CBN was entertaining everyone. So everyone now should help ABS to come back. If ever, if they have the right to come back, they're not doing any think anything again is the law or something so the fans should support them so they can come back on the TV that's that's all it's all about because I heard that they vi uh, did some violation or something well I hope this is not true and if it's not true you know it's the law it's no no one is above the law so that's all so all we have to do is support ABS CBN 
through through the hashtags and the uh, YouTube videos and you know watch their live videos and that's all God bless everyone Wow I have seen a lot of comments I love you guys I love you so much what's your favorite sports my favorite sport is soccer soccer football swimming I love swimming so much and I love volleyball and recently because I the people my fa like the people my fans here they, they saw me when the, I, I did play basketball with ABS CBN game show in arena uh, yes so I practice bas basketball and I love playing basketball now are you neutralized with Pino hope hope so you have plans we look welcome thank you Jackie Jackie I appreciate that and yes I would love to come back to the Philippines Philippines is my second hometown what advice can you give to those people who are not give support to their government, especially in this pandemic issue? My advice, uh, I chose C. Eds. I saw C. Eds. Well, my advice for, the, for these people, you are not gonna, you're not going to, you know, kill yourself only. You will kill others. So you have to be responsible. And please do not go out if it's necessary if you need food or something please go and make time for it and stay home and please follow the government's rule because we need to go back to work I can't stay at home a lot of people they can't stay at home so please follow the instructions follow what the government is saying and God bless you and please stay loyal to whatever rules it is okay I want to go out. <laughs> talaga. Is this live today, May 8, 2020? Yes. What can you advise on those people who have mental illness nowadays like depression? Edrif, my good friend. Edrif Angel is asking me about the people who, who got the mental illness. That's deep. Well, first of all, I would love to say Pray to the Lord, you know, pray, uh, go out and speak with your best friends. Like first of all, go out and not to try to, you know, I, I think you have one hour to go out or something. Watch, read some books that makes you feel comfortable. Again, Edrith, surround yourself with the people who really loves you. Even if like there are two, three, stick to them, call them. FaceTime them just be with them you know what I'm saying don't stay alone do not watch sad movies or sad drama try to always cheer yourself up treat yourself watch uh, funny videos pranks make yourself smile you know you deserve better than this you're a nice person you know so it it's not it's not worth it to to put yourself under depression so that's what I'm saying right now treat yourself don't put yourself in a situation that it makes you feel down all right have you visited have you visited the pyramids what is the feeling like hope to visit Egypt sometime okay Melson of course I did and I did visit the King's tomb inside the pyramid itself and it's amazing it's terrified but it's amazing you are most welcome in Egypt Wow the comments uh, Margaret for your opinion one second for your opinion what is the po uh, what is the positive thing that happened to you in this pandemic Margaret the positive thing that I learned is I knew who really loves me and who really don't and or, or who really doesn't uh, I knew who really cares and who really uh, true to me I learned that time is so precious I learned that human beings are so weak. I learned that I should get back to the Lord even if I'm, I'm happy or sad. I learned how to make time for myself. I learned that work is very important. I learned that our health is very important. I, uh, and I learned how to appreciate what God gave us. Any, always keep safe, Chris. Daku Kang Manap if you choose between popularity or family 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 Daku Kang I choose family of course what is the COVID what is COVID situation in Egypt 
Well, the COVID situation is here under control somehow. We didn't reach the peak yet, but I hope we will end up like this. Uh, last night or yesterday, we had 380 cases and we had 16 deaths. The 16 death is, is like, hmm, like, God bless. But I hope they will control the situation. We are also in Asia. Somehow we have in So, yeah, I hope people will be responsible enough for whatever happens in Egypt. And yes, it's under control somehow. Good evening to you, Mustafa from Malaysia. Nasir, thank you from Malaysia. Buddy, if they try to watch your live videos, depression would get vanished. I love what you said. I appreciate what, what God. Oh, thank you, Edrif. I appreciate you, man. And uh, I love your support. Thank you. Solid fan. Are you Christian? Because you mentioned Lord Stephen Chan. No, I'm not Christian, uh, Stephen. Lord is our Lord is Allah and Muslim. Muslim. I'm not Christian. I'm sorry. I'm receiving a lot of calls. So I'm a Muslim, not Christian. And God bless you. What can you do? What can you do to fight fake news right now? Well, Stella, Stella, love. I love your question, Stella. I'm not watching the social media. I'm not paying attention to the social media. I'm not paying attention to the news too much. I'm just following the government, whatever it says. I just follow. I'm not. I'm not watching the. I'm, I'm not giving myself a chance to follow fake news. So I'm not getting busy too much to follow the media or follow the, the news. I'm just following instructions. I just go out with if it's necessary. Uh, I'm not giving a chance to myself to read fake news or something. So because in the same time, I was just like, oh shit, we have 300 cases. We have 3000 cases. Tomorrow we have 400 cases. I'm not following this man. I, I'm not watching the news anymore. I'm not watching the TV anymore. I'm just trying to be positive with myself, with my family, with my friends and with you guys. So I'm just taking my chance to be healthy. I'm, I'm being careful and that's all. I can't do anything else about it. So that's it. What is your religion? I'm a Muslim. What are you looking for the next Mr. Man of the World? I'm looking for being, I'm looking for the next Mr. Man of the World to be more masculine, more responsible actually, and more humble. Whew. now go. Uh, hello, you're good. Really, Miss Shines True. Could you give an inspiring words for me in this, this trying times? Sasha Moda. Sasha Moda, she's saying, uh, uh, I would love to say, Sasha, please stay strong for me. There's a lot of people around the world who loves you. Please keep smiling. Treat yourself always. You are a beautiful person. Don't listen to anyone who bring you down. Cheer yourself up. Okay, uh, here I'm Mustafa. I'm telling you, you deserve the best in this life. And God bless you, and please cheer up for me. All right. Uh, good evening, Paul. Please shout out Paul Ida from the Philippines. Joel Al Sagiet. Shout out to Joel from my most beautiful country in the world, the Philippines. Nice to see you. Thank you, Jed. Nice to see you too. What else, guys? Bagot bagot kaba, and why you know, why you know Filipino language? Kasi Angel, I used to live in the Philippines, and I used to learn Filipino language for almost three years. Uh, Airdrif, thank you for the effort. You're welcome, man. Anytime, Sasha. Thank you so much. God bless you, Sasha. God bless you. I'm here to cheer you, to cheer you, to inspire you. And that's why I'm doing the live and I'm so happy. I'm so grateful that you are now uh, feeling better. What, what is next after Man of the World? Actor, being an actor. I already did acting and now I will be included soon to a TV series in Egypt. So please pray for me. Melson, how long is the fight Sorry, how long is the flight from Cairo to Manila? Any personal plans you can share uh, after COVID situation? All right, Melson, 
how long is the flight is almost 13 to 14 hours flight any any personal plans you can share after the COVID situation well I, I plan for you to take vacation to enjoy the world you know uh, take care of yourself more uh, always avoid crowded places and always avoid places that the government say not to approach uh, eat healthy uh, keep posting your immune system again and please take vitamin C and take care of the elder ones that's all what I can say hello are you coming back to the Philippines I hope so but I'm trying to do my best here now in Egypt so I'm coming back to the Philippines yes but not in the meantime how did you see yourself in 10 years from now Alex He's saying, how am I seeing, my, seeing myself? I'm seeing myself with a nice house, with a good family, beautiful wife, kids, good job, good income. I don't want to be too much rich. I want to pursue my, good, my acting career, so I hope that I'm going to be a good actor. And that's all what I want to do. That's all. My question is, my question is, hello, John. How are you today? I'm fine. How are you doing? Thank you. Good luck to you. Uh, good luck to you and your next invader. Thank you so much, Bob. Hi, handsome. Greeting from you. Yeah, I love Egyptian guys. Wow, you love Egyptian guys. <laughs> okay. Sana po matubat po pangarap niyo sa bahay. Stay safe. God bless po. Salamat, William. Maraming salamat po. Sana all. Sana oil. <laughs> Why is mental health as important as physical health? Because it's uh, Nar Narciso Marquillo. Because mental health is, is always equal to the physical. If your mental health is not well, your physical health will go down as well. So it's like a balance. So you have to care of this because it's a very, very important balance. If you're not taking of this, you are missing a very huge gap in your life man so you have to care of your mental health it's 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 deadly i swear to you when i'm when i'm getting sad i lose weight i lose muscles even if i'm working out but my, I, i'm not feeling well my mental health is not good that much i lose still lose weight so you have to keep a balance edrif uh you get advice from the pageant holder for free. Amazing. We are excited for your acting career. Thank you, Edward. Solid fan. You speak with convictions. Thank you, Chris. So great. God bless you. Thank you, Jerciano. Nance, Kapir, Egyptians. Diakon, anything to hand. Very smart is answering my questions. Alex, Salama. Thank you. God bless and good luck in your career. Jumar, I appreciate that. You're cute. I love you from the Philippines. Thank you, Joan. Salama. But you know, you're not looking Egyptian. Wallah, you're nice because you know about Philippines. Thank you, Angela. As I said, I'm not pure Egyptian. I'm half, I'm half Turkish. But anyways, I'm proud being an Egyptian. You have a huge sense of humor. Very smart is answering my question. Thank you, Alex. You're welcome. Everybody, most of the questions here are from the pageant in the Philippines. This is amazing. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? My interesting question is, will you marry me? Will you marry me? <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> well, I'm not, I'm not ready yet for marriage, but if you're a nice person, why not? Shout out Naman Po here in Thailand. Save Paloon. Shout out to Save. Where, where do you put your hands when you wake up in the morning? On my face. What kind of question is that, man? I'm just checking out my face. You're trying to be nasty or what? <laughs> Where did you put your head when you wake up in the morning? Again, yeah, I already heard this question. Give safe for God bless. Thank you for a shout out. Hope you come back to the Philippines. Joel. Salam, man. You're funny. What can you say about the LGBT? Well, I can say for them, uh, God bless for what you're doing. Stay safe and uh, keep fighting for whatever it takes. Um, uh, LGBT, the people, they make me laugh. They have a great sense of humor. Uh, you know, I used to watch Vice Gang. 
these kind of people they, they, they make me laugh and I love them uh, they are always happy they always make other people happy and that's very nice about the LGBT so I really miss their jokes thank you so much Sev, Pallone, you're welcome um, hello there uh, who, who's that? Ma Marbin, hello hello Marbin curious buddy uh, what <clears throat> What do you put to your milky smoothie face? Well, um, I, I don't put anything. I swear to God, I'm just I'm just put some lotion. I I, I I sleep seven hours. I drink a lot of water. I'm not exposed to the sun too much. That's all. Uh, guapo, salamat, Edward. What is the last thing that you do before you sleep? I watch funny videos so I can have a good night's sleep. Funny videos is the best. You're so smart and funny. Thank you. Shout out from Canada, Angelita. Thank you, Angelita. What is your height? I'm 6'2. My birthday is on May 15. Can you give me some birthday? Yes, of course. Melissa Fernando. Happy, happy birthday to Melissa Fernando. God bless you. I wish you all dreams come true. I wish your all effort will be in the right place and you'll be successful one day. Thank you and God bless you, Melson. Happy birthday from Mustafa Izali. I'm a nurse right now. We are facing discrimination regarding this pandemic. What can you say to the people? Oh, Alex, you are a nurse. You are a frontliner. You are saving us. Shout out to Alex because he's the one who's he's one of the people who's saving us right now. Whoever uh, put you under discriminations, man, they will regret that. Ignore these people. All right, ignore the discrimination. Ignore whatever they're saying to you. Just be yourself. God bless you. You have a lot of things to do. We appreciate you and everyone in this live video. Or even if the people who's not watching this live video, they appreciate the frontliners. God bless you people. You're the best. We are all owe you too much. And thank you. What will you do if I'm in love with you? I'll do a lot. A lot. <laughs> what is your favorite Filipino food? I will, um, yeah, uh, chicken adobo and beef caldereta. They are my two favorite dishes. How old are you now? What keeps you busy? Can you can I know your nickname? Uh, Jed. He's saying, how old are me? I am in the end of twenties. What keeps you busy? I am doing my acting career. I'm pursuing my acting workshops. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm opening my academy, but due to the coronavirus. We, we postpone everything for the safety. Can I know your nickname? My nickname is Tifa. T-I-F-A. That's my nickname. They're always calling me Tifa in the Philippines. Or everywhere. Tifa. T-I-F-A. Uh, what are you from? I am from heaven. <laughs> uh, you mean where I'm from, Sor? Sor is asking where I'm from. Uh, I'm from Egypt. <laughs> What is your what is your best non-physical assist and what do you say so? What is my best non-physical assist? I didn't get your question, but I love reading though. Uh, hi, shout out from the Philippines. Flock, flock, shout out to flock, flock. I've been I have been to Asia and it's the best places on earth. Pyramids of Giza, yes, of course, it's just amazing. It takes it makes me you wonder how Egyptian Asian Egyptians. Build such a great structure. I stayed in Zamala for three days and Alexander for four days. I love Koshari. How to be back there. Stephen Chan, thank you so much for visiting my country. And I hope I can be your tour guide next time. And uh, I am uh, really glad that you liked my country. I am so happy that you enjoyed my country. And of course, Egypt is welcome for anyone. And of course, guys, I would, uh, that's, well, that was my, my favorite job. Even before I went Man of the World, before I won Man of the World, I wanted to be a tour guide to show people around. And yes, um, thank you for visiting my country and hope to see you soon. Stephen. Oh. Hi, cute man from the Philippines, Nikita. Thank you. Shout out to Stella Love, Stella Jean Love again. Shout out to her. Uh, Glenn Adora. Hello, Mustafa. Shout out, please. Glenn Adora. Hi, Tifa. T I F A. Keep on aspiring the young age. Yes, I will. How is the permits? The permits is fine. How are you, Dominic? Dominic de la Cruz. Uh, I came from Thailand. Oh, hello. Thailand. What is the most Miss Universe that you live to look? 
What is the most Miss Universe that you live to look? Why? Okay. My favorite Miss Universe is Pia Watchback. Why? Because she's being solid. That's all what I can say. Uh, please shout out Idol from Tacloban City. Mark Roca Malate. Shout out to all the uh, to all my favorite lovely uh, family, Malate family. Uh, and shout out to uh, uh, Mark Roca Malate from Tacloban City. Hi, baby. Don't tell me, baby, unless you mean it. Joel Tifa is so saucy. Uh, Tifa would be your screen name. Yes, Edrif. Yes, I'm. Yeah. Hi baby, hi darling, tomorrow is my birthday, can you wish me? Okay, Jason Papunan. Uh, Jason, happy birthday to Jason, I hope all your dreams come true. Please stay safe and God bless you. Keep the good looking, keep the positive vibes and work hard. And I hope to see you one day from Mustafa Rizali. Happy birthday. It could be... Mm. Too much comments. Uh, Narciso, if you could have the opportunity to meet somebody global influential, who would you meet? Who, who would that be and why? Oh, okay, Q and A questions. <clears throat> Globally influential. Well, I'm not sure who, but uh, if I'm on the stage and holding the mic and it's a Q and A, well, I hope it will be. Uh, uh, President Obama because he he's a good person and uh, I love his personality <laughs> what about Katrina or Miss Universe 2018 well uh, they're not nice people but uh, she's my favorite though pay watch back uh, Mustafa Hulanka guess end of 20s shout out please thanks Tot Ziki Malinao Malinao Tadziki Malinao shout out to Tadziki Where are you where are you right now I'm in my room I'm in Egypt in Alexandria How old are you top 3 favorite countries and why My top 3 uh, uh Philippines uh UK and uh Switzerland Philippines because it's the Philippines course because I love the Philippines because of the people there nature Switzerland because the nature is killing me there and that's one of my pocket list countries England because of the history do you experience the indecent proposals well before I experience a lot of indecent proposals but yeah I'm always keep myself high standard so I don't go for this kind of proposals Shokran Katir for uplifting healthcare workers. Your pay means a lot to us, Shokran, for the support to you. Welcome, Alex. And again, shout out to all the frontliners. We owe you a lot. God bless you. And we always got your back. We always love you. Uh, how is being man of the world changing my life? Well, it's changing my life doing my live videos right now and cheer everyone and spread positivity to everyone and it 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 like how do you call it it, it, it brought up the hidden talents in me the hidden talents is I, I i i learned how to be a good actor and that was a talent already because i, I used to did acting during my college days so yes it brought up the hidden talents in me and i knew a lot of people i made a lot of connections from all over the world greeting from mexico lord's jet how was covid 19 your country it's under control somehow, but I hope it won't be, you know, reach the peak yet. But yeah, I hope it will be under control and people will be more responsible about their actions. My question is, why are you so handsome? Weird. Well, I'm so handsome because I'm smiling, I'm looking at you, and I'm looking at the lovely fans. That's why I'm so handsome. Uh, do you still hold the franchise of Miss Egypt Earth? No, Stephen, I do not have the franchise right now. I have the franchise for two different other pageants, uh, female pageants. How many months you did not cut your hair? Um, two, two months. Shout out, please, from the Philippines. Uh, Nar Narles J. Tardio. Nars. Shout out to Nars. What's your motto saying in life? Stay true, be you. That's all. Are you Mexican? 
No, I hope I would be Mexican. I love you, thank you, Jason. Well, guys, I am so blessed that I have you here, and I am so happy to cheer you up. I'm always here to uh, to share some positivity for you all. <clears throat> it's more fun in the Philippines. We have a lot of to offer for tourists in my province, which is Leyte. Yes, of course, Leyte, province of Leyte. This is. By the way, Mark, this is the first time I judge a beauty pageant. It's in Leyte. And the people who were supporting me during Man of the World from Leyte, Taclopan City. I love this place. Uh, <clears throat> and by the way, I, I performed dancing like the Magic Mike in Leyte as well. That was one of my favorite nights. <laughs> and people would go crazy about it. Uh, <clears throat> uh, what is the most satisfaction for a married life? Can you give three answers? Trust, respect, and love. That's all. Uh, well, guys, I, this is the pageant trend, right? If you, uh, I'm very good with the Q and A, so <laughs> don't be shocked because this is my favorite thing. If you watch the Q and A for Man of the World 2017, this is one of my favorite. How I, how I made it to the Q and A, how to be good. I'm not a shy person. I'm always controlling my adrenaline, and I read a lot of books, and I'm so vulnerable. Whatever in my heart, I'm just saying it. So that would be that would be the best thing to give the best answer for the Q and A. Can you sing Popa? Hindi naman, mpaniyut yung posisko. Yeah. Uh, you look like my ex-boyfriend is so attractive too. Well, I appreciate that, guys. I I I I'm so glad to have you and. If you want me to go live again on the pageant trend, you can just um, ask the admin. And I'm so thankful for one second because I have to greet him. To Joy Barbo, Joy Barbo, thank you for having me on the pageant trend. And uh, God bless you all. Please stay safe, keep the energy, keep positive. Um, don't feel down, treat yourself. You're the best. You're beautiful. Um, and uh, okay, I'll answer. Uh, what is what makes you satisfied? Spending time with family, surrounded with the loved ones, be happy, and uh, work out, eat good food, and be faithful to the Lord, and be faithful to the people. That's what makes me satisfied. And one of the most one of the most things that makes me so satisfied is helping people and donate to people who doesn't have help these days donation makes me satisfied and helping people without waiting for anything in return from my heart that makes me satisfied as well what makes you sad what makes me sad is um well before is expecting too much when i'm expecting too much i'm not and when I expect too much and and I didn't get what I was expecting for, that makes me sad. But guess what? If you want to be happy, do not expect too much in your life. Just live the moment and don't expect too much. Work on yourself and believe me, when you work on yourself and be the best, everyone will come to you. That's all. Are you Christian? I'm a Muslim. I'm not Christian. What happened? What is, what is happiness for you? My happiness is helping others. Anyways, expectation versus reality. Yeah. Sex or chocolate? Well, for the meantime, because I'm fasting, <laughs> it's chocolate because <laughs> I'm hungry. Uh, so anyways, guys, uh, if you are to eat just one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Salad chicken salad uh, thank you for the answer I appreciate that uh, thank you what is the natural size of a man in Egypt <clears throat> natural size well uh, Egyptian people they are kind of they have big figures so they are at least uh, five, five, uh, five seven or five eight uh, I really appreciate everyone guys I guess I'm in Egypt right now I really appreciate everyone shout out to chain Garcia I hope to see you soon guys this is gonna be the end of the light chat for today because I am really busy doing some stuff but I am really glad to spend time with you thank you everyone for cheering me up I'm so thankful for 
the people who being positive uh, please stay positive I'm always here for you you can like my page in the caption you can always ask me whatever questions but I'm trying to do live videos as much as I can thank you for everyone I will see you soon in the next live and um, stay safe keep posting in your system follow the instructions don't watch the media too much don't give up to the fake news you are beautiful heart is important um, keep supporting ABS CBN on the social media stay safe uh, from all over the world I'm here your man Mustafa Dezali the first ever man of the world with the crown thank you I love you and um, I will see you in the next video bye bye